Security experts have uncovered 70,000 hijacked domains being exploited in a sitting ducks attack scheme, manipulating well-known brands, nonprofits, and even government entities for phishing and investment frauds. A researcher at Mozilla exposes how OpenAI's ChatGPT Playground allows extensive access to its sandbox, letting users run Python scripts and access behind the scenes playbook data. Despite the usual security concerns with that, OpenAI remains indifferent to curbing this unexpected access to its AI tool. Attackers are exploiting Mac OS extended file attributes to conceal Trojan code in a stealthy attack linked to the infamous North Korean Lazarus group. And finally, Robert Purbeck, who's known as Lifelock or Studmaster, has been sentenced to 10 years in prison for a series of data thefts and extortion attempts impacting over 132,000 individuals across the United States. You're listening to The Daily Decrypt. Security experts have uncovered a long-standing and widespread attack scheme dubbed Sitting Ducks, which has resulted in the hijacking of 70,000 legitimate domains for phishing and investment fraud. According to Infoblox, the technique has been in use since 2018, targeting high-reputation domains, including those of well-known brands, nonprofits, and government entities. This attack exploits misconfigurations in DNS settings, allowing attackers to claim a domain without accessing the owner's account at the domain registrar. This method's stealth is partly because hijacked domains retain their reputations and evade detections by normal security tools. Once a domain is compromised, it might change hands among various threat actors, which is a tactic known as rotational hijacking. And the abuses facilitated by this sitting duck type of attack poses significant risks to businesses and consumers from malware distribution to credential theft. And companies holding vulnerable domains unwittingly become conduits for fraudulent schemes. Despite efforts like these to raise awareness of this type of attack, the vast number of affected domains makes detection challenging, which only encourages attackers to continue this type of attack. Attackers have also devised a new technique aimed at Mac OS users by leveraging extended file attributes to deliver a new Trojan dubbed Rusty Adder, or attribute, short for attribute, I don't know, by disguising malicious code within custom file metadata and deploying decoy PDF documents, attackers exploit this method to bypass detection mechanisms effectively. And this research comes from Group IB, who discovered these samples in the wild. While lacking definitive victim confirmation, they are attributing them with pretty high confidence to the North Korean Lazarus group, which suggests that they're in the process of an experimental phase of a new malware delivery strategy. And this might not be directly related, but OpenAI's ChatGPT platform presents an intriguing concern within cybersecurity circles due to its unprecedented level of access to its sandbox environment. The sandbox in ChatGPT is designed as an isolated space for safe user interaction and allows uploading and executing programs, browsing its file structure, and running commands. Never let Nevertheless, Marco Figuera from Mozilla's Zero Day Investigation team has identified several vulnerabilities, specifically the capability to upload and execute Python scripts, as well as download the AI's playbook, which is pretty significant because it reveals structural flaws that could potentially be exploited to compromise the system. This is raising eyebrows across the cybersecurity community because the ability to access the sandbox so deeply signifies huge potential risk areas for both OpenAI and its users. It might not pose direct data privacy issues as the actions remain confined to the sandbox, but it does open a visible vector for cyber threats targeting the AI's operational infrastructure. And just this morning, I read about a new feature coming soon from OpenAI where they're going to be launching interactive bots that will do tasks for you on their own little computer. And that just makes me think that ChatGPT is you're going to be giving ChatGPT your login information so that it can perform tasks as you. I don't think we're at that point yet. You know, I'm excited to test it out, but you know, more to come from the Daily Decrypt on that one as well. Paired with these infrastructural vulnerabilities, I, I don't love it.
But our final story is a bit of justice against a cyber criminal named Robert Purbeck, who is a man from Ohio being sentenced to 10 years in prison. Due to the significant damage caused by a hacking and data theft affecting over 132,000 individuals through his unauthorized access to 19 organizations in the U.S. He orchestrated data thefts from entities including Georgia Medical Clinic and their police department, accumulating vast amounts of PII, which he used for extortion. One of the most notorious incidents in 2018... Herbeck demanded ransom from a Florida orthodontist, threatening to leak sensitive patient data, even going as far as to involve minors' personal data in his threats. And though you may not have heard of this individual, it's important to talk about the times that attackers and bad cybersecurity individuals do get punished for their actions. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough yet, but... We have to talk about it in order to discourage that type of behavior. This has been The Daily Decrypt. If you found your key to unlocking the digital domain, show your support with a rating on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. It truly helps us stand at the frontier of cyber news. Don't forget to connect on Instagram or catch our episodes on YouTube. Until next time, keep your data safe and your curiosity alive. 